Here is a challenging case of phacomassification mastification in adult patient. As we can see, the pupil is totally obscured with the pupillary membrane, and there is corneal scar in the inferior part of the cornea, together with functioning blip, as this patient was operated for glaucoma surgery before. I started with two paracentesis and 2.4 clear corneal incision. Look at the globe, it's soft while doing the incision, then injecting dispersive OVD. And here is the microforceps trying to find the pupil and remove the pupillary membrane in order to enlarge the pupil and using any pupil expander devices. As there is adhesion between the iris epithelium and at the anterior capsule, I inject dispersive behind the iris trying to separate the adhesion between the iris epithelium and the anterior capsule and also I stretched the pupil trying to dilate the pupil as you can see now to prepare the pupil for insertion and implanting the malugin pupil expander ring. Now the pupil is around three millimeter in diameter. Here is the, uh, the malugin expander ring. The distal part and the lateral part was fixed properly. However, while fixing the proximal part, the lateral part disappeared behind the iris. That's why I rotate the malogen expander ring trying to extract the hidden eyelid into the anterior chamber to refix it again and it was difficult. That's why I release all eyelids from the edge of the pupil to find the hidden eyelid of the malogen ring then I refix it again and by this way I have a good dilatation of the pupil. Look at the pigmentation on the anterior capsule and now look at the pupil diameter. It is very good to start the capsule rexes. I use the acetatome to create a uh, tear in the anterior capsule, then I complete my capsule rexes using the capsule rexes forceps. As you can see, now I have a good diameter of the capsule rexes, then doing the hydro dissection with the gentle hydro delineation. And as this type of cataract is soft, I use by manual irrigation, aspiration to remove this cataract, and it was easy to remove. Here you can see the diameter of the capsule rixes, which is very good, then injecting cohesive and implanting a single piece, hydrophobic IOL, then extracting the malogen ring and washing the viscoelastic anterior and behind the IOL. Actually, the surgery went um, without any complication unless the pupil is irregular by the end of the surgery. And thank you for watching.